This is the Arduino 37 sensor kit. There is a joystick, a relay. This is a, a big sound emitter. This is a small sound tracking sensor, avoidance sensor, flame sensor, linear hall, touch sensor, digital thermometer, buzzer, passive buzzer. This is a RGB LED, the regular ones. This is a flat LED. Here you have a two color LED, a small mini two color. This is a read switch. This is a mini switch. Here is a heartbeat sensor. This is a seven colored flash LED. This is a laser. This here is a button. Here you have a shock sensor. This is a rotary or potentiometer. This is a light cup with a tilt switch. Here we have a ball switch. This is a photo resistor. You got a temperature and humidity sensor. Here is an analog hole. This is a magnetic hole. Here is a temp temperature sensor. This is an analog temp sensor. This is an IR emission lit light. And then we have a IR receiver. And then we have a tap module and a light blocking. This is the joystick. And the joystick is an analog sensor that can be used to control different projects under your Arduino. It's a potentiometer basically, so it gives it returns a value that you can use uh, in your code. This is the relay, and you can use this to switch between high voltage applications, but you use a lower voltage. You basically use the five volt signal from the Arduino to turn on and off applications, like a 220 volt lamp, for example. This is the big sound sensor, and you can basically use it to detect sounds, and it outputs both an analog signal and a digital signal. So for example, if you wanna snap your fingers or do a sound, you can make it turn off and on. This is a small sound sensor. It works just like the big one. You basically can detect sound and get an analog or a digital output. This is the tracking sensor. You can use it to detect lines uh, and it detects lines in black and white. So you can basically make a, a car follow a, a black line. This is the avoidance sensor. It basically emits an infrared light and detects if something is in front of it. You can use it in many projects like cars or, or robots. You basically can detect if an object is in front and it will send out a signal. This is the flame sensor and you can use it for a very short range fire detection. So if you have a pro project that you think might need uh, a security measure, then this is a good thing to measure if a fire bursts out. This is the linear hall sensor and it's an analog sensor. Uh, so basically when you put this sensor into a magnetic field, you produce a voltage and you can also m read out that voltage uh, from the magnetic field. This is the touch sensor. So when you touch this part here, with, with the body part of your finger or something like that, it sends a signal. This is the digital temperature sensor, and you can basically read out the temperature in an in a accurate way, uh, and you get a digital signal out of this one. This is the buzzer, and like the name states, you can make it buzz, you can even make it buzz different songs and make Funny sounds. This is the passive buzzer, uh, and it's just like the other buzzer, but you can uh, have a better frequency control. Uh, that's the only difference. This is the RGB LED, and RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Uh, and you can combine these colors to make lots of different colors, uh, and it's a nice little sensor.
this is the SMD RGB LED light. Uh, it's just like the other LED light with red, green and blue uh, that you can emit and also combine for other colors. It's just a flat one. This is the two color LED. Uh, it emits uh, a green one and a red one. You have the ground and you have uh, two pins for each color. This is the mini LED with two colors. Uh, just like the bigger one, uh, you have ground and two other pins where you connect the red or the green light. This is the read switch, and basically if you put a magnet in front of it, it will turn on and off. This is the mini read, and it works just like the bigger read. If you put a magnet in front of it, it turns on and off. This is the heartbeat sensor and it uses an infrared light to detect your pulse and when it does, it starts blinking in red. This is the seven color flash LED. Uh, it has uh, seven colors that rotates and that's it. This is the laser module, and when you power it up, it emits a red light, a red laser. This is the button, and that's pretty much it. It's just a button. This is the shock sensor, and it can detect both vibrations or, or shock, it's off in its natural state and when it detects a vibration or a, a shock, it will actually switch on. This is a rotary encoder and it can be turned in both directions without limitations. This is the light cap module, and it's basically mercury switches uh, that provides a digital signal. As you can see, there is a bit of mercury inside. You need two to operate it, uh, and you can also dim the LED lights. This is a mercury tilt switch, and it allows you to detect if an object is tilting around. It gives a digital output. This is a ball switch and it has a little metal ball inside and it will complete the circuit depending on the position in the sensor. Pretty basic, can only detect like big changes. This is a photoresistor and it is a variable resistor. And the value obviously depends on how much light this sensor is getting. So if you block it, no light, and you get uh, a value out from this. This is the temperature and humidity sensor. And yeah, it does exactly that. It measures the temperature and the humidity. You can only measure that in a quite small space. This is the analog hall sensor, uh, and it's a analog magnetic field sensor module. This is the hall magnetic sensor. So if there is no magnetic field present, the signal line is high. And if a magnetic field is present, uh, it will go to low. It also has an LED that lights up.
This is the temperature sensor and it gives you a analog output. Very accurate temperature sensor. This is the analog temperature sensor and it acts as a variable resistor like an NTC or PTC. As the temperature increases, the sensor will decrease in the voltage output. This is the IR emitter and it emits an infrared light that can be used to control the TV or, or another thing like a light source for a security camera. And this is the IR receiver. You can use that with your IR emitter obviously to receive your IR light. This is the tap module and it can work like a switch. For example, if you block this little U here, you will get the signal. So if you put obstacle in here.